Now, if there's one thing that's going to be the topic of today, it's really just going ahead in the fact that, one, the Victory Bull has once again came. And, of course, we got ourselves a good matchup. As this is going to be going ahead and be seeing the VB champions back here. Going ahead and getting this one done. And, oh, my homie has to see Jalen going ahead and joining in. Well, let him know. All right. Anyways, besides that, there's basically some very crazy stuff that's now officially it's happening and that the stage is now set and yes and for this one um with all my buddy Jalen here since he's stopping by we basically are about to go ahead and announce we're gonna do a bit of a playoff recap and before we're gonna announce the individual things but, but before we go and get to that Van Hannon basically and decided why not but to use the old little thing thingamabobble Anyways, basically it's the old OFL news thing that was originally made by Eggbert, so yeah. This this is Eggbert's thing. But we do have basically a football here just holding. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's get on to our playoff recap. Because your boy here, we are excited just to go ahead and basically go ahead and look at the stuff. <coughs> Anyways. So the first thing we gotta go and talk about would be the Tremont Turks, and that's just keep it simple. They were kind of des they were kind of destined to go ahead and kind of and take the exit here, but the problem was you you had someone that went by the name of Zay's Revenge at tight end, and you didn't even show up to the game. So what do you do? You basically are forcing North Cut to scramble around for his life. I will say this though: all they put up a fight, it will not be enough. She will we'll, we'll lose in blowout fashion to BCV and be sent home early to Cancun. Our next team to talk about, of course. Is the Rockford Raptors. This is a good... This real course was a good run team. I will say that. But unfortunately... They basically got their asses handed to them by just one man, and one man only. And that, of course, would be... And, of course, would be Kosh. Mind you, I don't know what that thing is over there. I'll just go ahead and test that after. Anyways, they went ahead and they got their ha asses handed to the shores, 47 to 14. But, but the Raptors will be back. They will be back. Because this, because the rock, because the Rockford Raptors, and Frankie isn't gonna give up without a fight. Anyways, another person we're gonna have to go ahead and talk about in this one. Another team that's also taking a talk was is gonna be the Josh and Jack Rabbits, six and up, six and two to in a Mickey Mouse division. Once again, I I can't go ahead and I can't relate though. But then again, oh yeah, got ACFL. I know some people are gonna be like that. Fuck, man. Anyways, besides that, I will go ahead. I will, I will give some credit for going ahead and make and giving this team and making them go ahead and get get a lot of discomfort. The Nighthawks went ahead and got their first win and play in franchise history as a result, and the Jackrabbits just basically. Or just become the low cows of the league still. Lol. Anyways, next team is going to go on to be the Panthers. And the Panthers, I'm saying it straight up though. It was the, the moment they knew they went and they, and they fucked up the season. Was when they allowed a last second TD to, to Joshi. And it's a two point diversion to go for the kill. Austin and Yuki. 
went ahead and executed that beautifully. <coughs> Therefore, going <coughs> for going ahead and sealing the game up 36 to all, and going ahead and moving on to the next round. But I can't. But the same, of course, can't be said for our next part. Next team is the Core Block Snowhawks. This is a team that I kind of did expect a bit to go ahead and actually lose, but just the way how they ch choked the last part of the game. Oh my gosh! You basically would have to admit, what the hell are they doing? Like I love what this team did, but like homie, just no. You tried, but no. Okay, if I. If it's bound down to the point that K5 did an E dance on you, I can't help you. No, I can't help you. Moving on to the Dansville Ducks. The reigning OWC champions are no longer t are shunned out as they went ahead and they got their asses handed to them at home by a Sky Kings team that basically wasn't even playing their best football. I will give credit to Finley as he did go ahead and he tried his tried his best, but giving Relly time to go ahead and make magic happen was one of the big mistakes you can do as a member of the Dansville Ducks. Well as a team in general. Anyways, moving on to our next team, that would be the Canton Greats. The Canning Grades basically were the number one seed, but only to lose to the Dragons. A team that <coughs> barely even made it in here as a result of it. Oh, and there's B Smart here. Anyways, with that going ahead and basically now being said, when you lose the top spot to. When you lose your. Top dog spot and people favor you to make the VB and yeah, I'm sorry. Just no, it doesn't doesn't age well. It doesn't. No, I will give credit to the to the dragons though. They got their shit and they earned it. Next team up is the Newark Destroyers, and that of course what is just very surprising. They get upset at home once again. By the dragons. What are you got what did you guys do wrong that game? Like I I didn't watch the game, but like I <laughs> No. That was another surprise of a number one seed that would actually would fall. And that of course they were like literally the Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were literally one of two divisional Divisional winners actually was still there since the five cats were in that one. Oh, that would go ahead and it would age well. Sorry, Newark, but let's wait another season. Love the effort though. Our next team to talk about is not Omaha Nighthawks. Was that dude literally they threw went ahead and they literally allowed some guy that went by the name. Of Chaos BCV. Nothing against Chaos though, but when you go ahead and you literally allow someone like Chaos to go ahead and really make a make a point and make a statement on you, that just shows you're just you are for real down bad. And of course that's just really just the whole part of the whole thing. Just, I'm sorry, buddy. You could have actually had them. But no, you kind of went ahead and you kind of slumped it up. Anyways, it was a good effort, though. Sorry, not Hawks, but this game wasn't for you. Next team up is the Florida Firecats. And the Firecats, you have done... You've aged poorly well. But... Losing to the Thunderbirds would go ahead and will cost you. And you even show how much of salty, how bunch bunch of salty bitches you guys are. We, your own head coach in the in the OFN fans chat went ahead and basically in the next week, we'll try to basically interfere with something. Well, that also went ahead. 
and really helped. Good job. Hope you guys go ahead and you guys enjoy Cancun. Next team is up. It's the Olympia Sky Kings. I don't even want to go and talk about that shit. I mean, really went ahead and he tried, but the fact that they literally have some rookie that's been making clutch interceptions, like he's that, like he's that one Manning guy from the Panthers when he was making timely interceptions during our, during our Super Bowl run that we eventually fell to the Patriots. It was like it's basically like that. You just can't be giving up stuff. But then again. The Sky Kings basically were without one of their DE, without one of their DEs. But I'm on suspended. Oh my god. I'm on being suspended actually. I kind of hurt this team. But the Warriors would get an escape, and you had some idiot that went by the name of Misher. He's going ahead and screaming his balls out. Well, that's going to go high and go up. Next team. Is of course the Blue Steel City Vikings. They did everything right, except except the offensive line somehow went ahead and couldn't do must up anything. And then Cass with the interception, so the same dude again from last week's interception against against the freaking against the freaking Sky Kings. Like, what the hell are you doing, buddy? Like. Bro, bro, bro. Anyways, the Warriors will go ahead and make their move on. Mogling head and sending BCV home. Also, not to mention, Martin Bruisers basically got eliminated early. And I didn't really watch much of that game, but I heard that same rookie went ahead and called the game with an int, so, eh. Anyways, and the, and the final part is to Dresden Dragons. Was they played. High powered football all the way. And one way you went ahead and you had a quarterback that went ahead and was just throwing dimes like he was Trace McSorley. The other you just basically had a Hall of Famer that just knew what the hell to do. The fact the fact that literally that the T Birds went ahead and melt a lot of clog off. And made it 62 to 54. Jason was able to tie up the game. But then, the young King Moko would go ahead and happen. The Dresden would go, would go ahead and once again, they, they tie it up at 62. The Hail Mary toss up was going to be coming up. And you had people, and Austin and Yuki and uh, a bunch of other people went ahead and basically. Spammed Calvin, spammed Calvin on Discord for his for friend requests. No, for important for the dragons to win. The answer to the whole thing, it did not went ahead and age well once again. Despite the past going ahead and being underthrown, you basically have a future wide receiver of the year candidate and possibly the next. Wide receiver in Tuscaloosa named Star Wars Freak going ahead and getting the touchdown over Logan Byrne to call the game 68 to 62. Such a shame, though. I can already see, I can already see my buddy Pikachu -y. basically on pack watch. Now, with that going ahead and being said, the stage is officially set. So it's time to go ahead and basically meet our team. So we're gonna be go ahead and gonna be squaring off for our victory bowl. And now, of course, it's gonna be the Warriors and the Thunderbirds. Now, for the Warriors, this basically is gonna be a good game. They are head coached very well, very smoothly by a man that goes by the name of Randy Moss. Randy went ahead and he had a good season of 3,825 yards, 48 touchdowns against 9 picks. Despite the completion points being a, being not as efficient, he did go ahead and he mushed up a pass rating of 130. Anyways, he basically showed a, lo a lot of precision, a lot of poise, <coughs> and possibly showed just why the fact that he was going to be, that he was, that he also looks to be. 
the next man up to go ahead and win the victory bowl for the first time ever. But keep in mind, though, he doesn't. But he's not all alone. He's not supported by a cast of nobodies. When in doubt, he has a wide receiver one and someone that you can consider as a wide receiver of the year in Mixer Heesh. 63 catches for 1,649 yards and 22 touchdowns. It's is what people have called a wide receiver of the year worthy season. And if he doesn't have that, he also has Bubble Boy, the rookie of the year that everyone's been talking about that I'm not really hyped up for. When in reality, there literally are better players that have just been available throughout the season. And what and also with that, he also has a good running back, a good receiving running back too. Having Hall of Fame running back Fruit King at the helm too. Navaruni, the slice of life, JBW, a bunch of people to as a good cast. And the Warriors on defense are a good team as well. Having three ins from Manny Moss, and with that, with that same Bubble Boy kid going ahead and getting ints. This should be an easy breeze for the war for the Warriors, but the but the problem they go into this game is the hunt for the first Verion Trophy. They have not went ahead and have not won that the victory bowl at all. All they've appeared to it four times. <coughs> they find out still how figure out ways to choke the game. First time they lose on a last second touchdown to some guy that went by the name of Bunglias. The second time they went ahead and they and they had some and they would lose to Calvin Five in VB nineteen by a field goal. The third time, no luck. Try Five went ahead and he took over, and then, and then the fourth time, Young Rally went ahead and broke his curse. So, if anything, this is this could be a game of all or nothing. And that's something I would gladly be like to see. So let's see how the, let's see how this team is going to go ahead and respond to that. Oh yeah, it's also worth mentioning that when it comes to kicker stuff, the Warriors are an average team, except the fact that Randy had the second most kickoffs and and a tie for the league lead in touchbacks. So, uh, nice job, I guess. Anyways, our not and our other team. Is the Tuscaloosa Thunderbirds, and this team is led by the Hall of Famer, the man himself, Mister Calvin Five. And Calvin's been a, a very impressive man in his career. This season, basically, was no exception. Going for 4,681 yards and 56 touchdowns against 12 interceptions. He's basically he's proved himself time and again that this is his league. And a win here today. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll, went ahead and we'll pretty much settle up a what felt immortality. And we'll, con and we'll con officially confirm the d a dynasty that's going to be set. Anyways, he doesn't have basically as much wide receivers as before, he, despite not having Hero Forsaken or Reaver. He has a future, a possible future wide receiver one in Star Wars Freak. He has hiked. He has a very low class. Nine Tails win three sixty Jaden Burr. Oh yeah, he also has a two take LS guy that's also coming in. And I like to go ahead and just spam your regen in here. Look at these boys. They're just really ex ex excited. Anyways. One final thing to add. They also have a good center in BBLA. But let's keep in mind that the Tuscaloosa defense is ferocious as well. Have, although not having as much firepower as most seasons... Nine Tails win has five ints, 360 Jaden with five ints, and this is just overall a team that has a good DB core. Oh, and can we also go ahead and forget to mention that Yellow Supercar and Hiked are literally two of the league's best DEs? If so, then yeah, 
That's just when it really got interesting. <laughs> BB Outlet and Calvin, also good guys to go ahead and mention on the DE hunt as well. And of course, with that, this stage will be set. What's going to go ahead and be a matchup? So, before we go ahead and we get to this one, who is your predictions and who you think is going to win this, win the victory bowl? The Thunderbirds going ahead and trying to claim their fit, trying to claim another title and and look to prove themselves at the dynasty. We will go ahead and we'll see how good this team is. So, who do you think will win? Who do you think will pay? Who do you think will go ahead and be awesome? And will these guys ever learn the true way of Chaostopia? Find out next. Find out. Find out later on. And find out in Victory Bowl 29. Will the Warriors go ahead and they will take on the Tuscaloosa Thunderbirds in VB29? Well, it's going to be a matchup for the ages. With that, I'm your boy Chaostopia, Brown DC, The Pool. You already know, and I'll see y'all next time. Saddle up, saddle out, peace out. Let's go. Now let's go ahead and let's fire this one out there. Yo! That, that ball went ahead and went out pretty good. Alright. Anyways. Peace out, fellas.